Good morning. It's a rainy Thursday here in the Tennessee Valley, but we don't care. We're nice and dry under the tent here on the porch for Three Plus U. This is Scott Harden, Lieutenant Scott Harden, uh, next to me. You emailed me a week or two ago, I guess, Scott. Yes, ma'am. Saying, listen, I got a really special event coming on I want to talk about because what are you doing coming up in August? Well, this was the 30th year of Desert Storm, Desert Shield. Uh, actually, was in February would have been 30 years. But with the COVID and all that kind of activity, you know, really couldn't do anything. So me and some friends of mine, we thought together, well, why don't we try to have a citywide? Because the people didn't realize there was eight units that got activated at that time for Desert Storm, Desert Shield. So we're putting together a dinner on the 28th of August and uh, for the veterans. And I've got General B.B. Bell, who was Schwarzkopf Executive Officer at the time of the war, to come and speak. And I've heard it before, and he has some great stories about his time with Schwarzkopf. And when you're talking to me about what you're planning to do, the image that comes to my mind, Scott, is that scene from It's a Wonderful Life, when they all come together uh, to surprise the general with the concert there on Christmas Eve. But you probably remember the scene on it's Christmas Eve, and they all come together because the general is no longer serving uh, actively, and he misses his men. That's kind of what this is going to be set up to feel like if you're lucky because these guys are, and women are going to come back with their spouses 30 years later, yes, many many of them to see each other for the first time in those years. Yes, well, yes, well. And what you're hoping for is, you know, we are such a patriotic city here in Chattanooga that businesses will step up and help sponsor this event because you're hoping that the evening can be free for those I would like for the soldiers, uh, their, uh, their meal to be covered in this event. Yes, ma'am. So how much, I mean, do y'all have in the day of social media, do you know if a lot of these reserve units keep in touch anyway on a regular basis? Well, it's funny, like this morning, Thursday, uh, there's about 10 guys from B Company, the A4 of Engineer Battalion that was on, on Bonnie Oaks Drive, still meet at Wally's. Really? Down on House Wall, I mean, on uh, Macaulay Avenue. And still eat, still meet together, you know. So when you were overseas in Desert Storm, yes, ma'am. Was that your first time as a reservist to go? Yes, ma'am. I was just uh, been in the Army three years, and I was a lieutenant. And uh, since that time, you know, I've been deployed for uh, uh, Iraqi freedom. Uh, went to Afghanistan, went to Iraq, went to Korea, went to Qatar right after 9/11, and was, in, you know, so I've been really deployed five times in my 28 year military career. Well, I was telling you earlier, and y'all probably remember as well, I would have been in my early 20s then. I think I was still at the University of Georgia, and I remember watching it happen. And there, there was a real sense of pride, for one thing, but I think maybe we at home had the wrong idea because it seemed to be a rather quick in and out, from what I remember. It was only 100, it was only 100 days. The actual ground war only actually 100 days. But, you know, the air war was about a, a month and a half. And like we got activated, actually, I left Thanksgiving Day Did you to go really? to Fort Bragg, and then we actually didn't get to go over until the first of February because everything got backed up with equipment and things. But, but they started, we started sending combat troops in there in, 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 in October. But does it happen, Scott, where people, the civilians, see it as being a rather quick, easy, if you will, endeavor? And then you're not having a chance to talk about what you saw and what you experienced. For the guys who were there, will this reunion mean even more, maybe? I think it will. It, it, you know, people will get back together and the unit, you know, kind of integrity and, and, and see a lot of people that they haven't seen before. Right. It's yeah. funny, too, what you don't quite remember. Um, I, my memory doesn't go back 30 years very well. The role of women then in Desert Shield and Desert Storm, was it different for the women who were in the military then well, versus we those had now? Just the uh, engineer unit I was in, we had just, they had just put the uh, first three, we had three females in the unit, and I think the whole battalion out of 750 maybe had 20, 20. Wow. Yeah. So times have changed yeah. for in sure. In fact, uh, there was a lady that I left with, the, she was a full-time pay clerk, and then she was an E-5 sergeant, carpenter specialist, and we actually left Thanksgiving Day to go to Fort Bragg for the advance party. I mean, stop and think about what that means, because you were there how long? We were there... We came back Father's Day, my wife said. Okay, so six or seven months. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that you're gone from your family. Yes, ma'am. That's a great love of country that you have to do that. Well, you know, I, I, it, I, I hate to commit to being like a fireman, but if, if there's a fire and you're a fireman, you kind of want to be there, but you don't want there to be a fire. Right. You know, but it was it was kind of our time. It yeah. was, uh, you know, our nation called and when we went, you know. And, and we never thought about going to war. We, we shot up in the reserves, you know. Right. I went to Red Bank and... UTC, ROTC, and things of this nature. So, 
you know, it was just a great time to serve. Okay, so let's talk about this event coming up on okay. August 28th. What's your, what are some kind of deadlines? You're a leadership kind of guy, so I'm sure you've got a goal and plan uh, in mind. Well, we'd kind of like to, to, to have a, some uh, core sponsorships by the end of this month. Because if, you know, if we don't get it, we'll, we'll have to do something. But uh, the, the events we have uh, on, fr on uh, Friday afternoon, we're going to dedicate a monument at the National Cemetery. Well, the eight units that got activated in Desert Storm, it's at the very top around where Mr. Coolidge and Desmond Doss is buried. The different units, different organizations that's got a mon monument up there. And then that evening, uh, thanks to uh, Russell Racing and Boyd Speedway, they're going to have a veterans race at the dirt track. Nice. And uh, veterans are free to come to that. And then uh, Saturday, we're going to have a reception down at the Medal of Honor Heritage Center. A little reception, and people can go through that. And then we'll move down to the Trade Center and have an have a evening dinner with uh, General Bell as being our speaker. So uh, talk a little bit about General B.B. Bell. The folks who will be coming know him quite well, but for those watching today, he's a very magnetic He person. is, and he was, uh, he was General Schwarzkopf's executive officer. So uh, he tells a story that when uh, Iraq invaded Kuwait, that next afternoon he's in the White House with the President, uh, First Bush, Colin Powell, Cheney, and Schwarzkopf, over there talking about what they're going to do, and he's over in the corner. Right taking notes, stuff. yeah. Right, yeah, right taking notes, yeah, yeah. I wonder what he had, what he's done with those notes. It's, he has them because he 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 spoke to us before, and he's got all the, he's got some map books, yeah, that he kept from that, yeah. Okay, you mentioned to me too that when we had the eight units uh, that went over to yes, serve, uh -huh. we had more than anybody else in the country. Is that yes, what you said? For, for this region, we sure did. There was the uh, the garrison, who now General uh, Range was a, was a commander of. They went to Fort Campbell and ran Fort Campbell when, when Hunter first left. There was a field artillery brigade and battalion of the National Guard on Host Claw. They went over. There was a 377 Combat Sport Hospital that was in the reserve unit with us that went over. A transportation unit in that reserve center that went over. My unit, B Company, uh, that went over. Mike Battery of the Marine Corps Reserves that went. And then there was an engineer unit over in Dunlap that we were included that they also went over to the 212 engineer company. So anybody who was part of those eight, yes, no matter whether you're living here in Chattanooga or they've moved across the country to California, oh. would love to see them oh. come back. Oh, and really any veteran and anybody that's Desert Storm, we just, we're, we're, we're highlighting Desert Storm, but we'd like any veteran to come out okay. and have a great evening and hear a good speaker and have a good meal and food, fun, and fellowship. Okay, so mark your calendars August 28th at the Trade Center. Uh, if you go to the Facebook page, what's it called, Scott? It's just Chattanooga Desert Storm, or Chattanooga Desert Shield Desert Storm, and it'll populate. And then you go to events, and then there'll be a thing that says, are you interested? Okay. So you click on that, and then you put your information in, and then there'll be a block that you can click for what unit you were in. Or if you weren't in, you just click other, and that will go to a contact link to somebody that was in the unit. All right. And we'll get your information to you. Thanks for your service, and we'll talk to you again before the date comes. Deal? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. We're back after this.